Basalt is the most abundant bedrock formation, both on the surface of the Earth and probably the Moon as well. It's even the rock formed by Olympus Mons, a large volcano on Mars. However, the surface of the Earth may be a little bit of a loose definition, as much of the basalt rock is actually under the oceans rather than being truly on the surface of the Earth where everyone can see it. Basalt is a fine-grained, dark-coloured, igneous or volcanic rock the smaller silica content than many other volcanic rocks. The silica does still represent about half the content of basalt, much of the rest of the rock being made from iron oxide, which gives the rock its dark colour, along with iron is aluminium oxide and magnesium oxide. It's this rich range of chemicals that are present within basalt that mean that plants growing on even a thin layer of soil on top of the basaltic rock can flourish. And generally, the only chemical that may be deficient is sulphur. Basaltic rock can be found in the fertile regions in many parts of the world, including the Parana Plateau in Brazil, the Deccan Plateau in India, and the Colombian Plateau in the USA. However, currently, the most visible region currently producing substantial amounts of basalt is Hawaii. Most of the basalt in the world, though, is actually spread out under the seafloor after emerging from the oceanic ridges. These rocks are a significant source of chemical nutrients in the oceans. And there are some bacteria in the oceans which can just live off the chemical reactions from the material within the basalt and the associated hydrothermal vents, bypassing any need at all for photosynthesis. The rock itself, when it emerges from the ground, can form what's known as pillow lava. The semi-liquid rock is squeezed out of the ground, much like toothpaste being squeezed out of a tube. So this rock then cools more lava is then squeezed out from another weak point in the surface, making the terrain look like someone's randomly scattered clothes of rock all over the surface of the land. However, one of the more unusual structures formed by basaltic rock is known as the Giant's Causeway. The causeway is a rock formation which has one end in Northern Ireland and the other in Scotland. Basaltic rocks may trap this causeway, which one or two feet across can be up to a hundred feet deep. Rocks appear to be formed from regularly, fairly regularly shaped, normally about six-sided stones, laid down like an ancient cobbled roadway suitable for giants to cross from Scotland to Ireland. In reality, the nearly 40,000 or more pieces of rock that are made up the causeway are over 50 million years old, resulting from lava being forced up through a crack in the Earth's surface, which then cooled fairly rapidly. This rock cooled, it kind of contracted, resulted in the fairly regular shapes produced in the rock, which the weathering process had made more pronounced over the years. The presence of basaltic rock on both the Moon and Mars could mean that growing plants from these bodies would be less complicated due to the minerals being present in these rock formations that could be easily extracted and used for growing plants.